Hey guys, welcome to Techinets. Today's video I'm going to show how you can fix this audio and sound issues which is occurring in your Windows 11 laptops. Uh, I'm going to show you from the basic step to the high end step to fix this issue. We will be covering all the possible outcomes that the issue could be occurred. So let's proceed to the video. Before that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe, click on the bell icon, like, share and comment. Let's go into the video. Okay, the common mistake which most of us do is we will keep our speaker in mute okay, and we will uh, see why it is not working, why sound is not working either in your headphone or speaker. So the first step in fixing a sound or audio issue is go to your right bottom to the taskbar and click on the speaker symbol. Okay, Here check whether this option is enabled or disabled which means whether this option is muted or unmuted so as you can see in my mission i have muted it so all you have to do is just unmute it okay this is the first step to fix sound or audio issues once you have done that in case if it didn't help you the next step would be go to the same speaker symbol right click and select troubleshoot sound problems okay so this option what it does is it detects if there is any audio or sound problem in your machine. Okay, it asks you to select the speaker or headphone. So now I am connected headphone. Let me go with the headphone. So as it says there are no sound issues has been discovered in this machine. In case if there is any issues like uh, whether your speaker is disabled or any driver issue this troubleshooting option would help you to fix the issue. However, if this option also did help, then you can go to the sound settings to do manual changes. For that also, right click the speaker symbol and go to sound settings. Once you are in sound settings, under output, you can find the available speaker or headphone options. As I am connected to headphone, you can go to the headphone option and under general you can select whether the headphone is allowed or not allowed in case if this option is set as don't allow you have to click the allow button as of now my headphone is set into allow in case if i click don't allow i won't be able to hear sound in the headphone and the same goes to the speaker as well so if i click on speaker i have to check whether this option is set to allow or don't allow so this would be your third step towards fixing the speaker or sound issue and also below you have uh, more uh, output options like what format your sound should be and the volume and uh, the left and right uh, channel balance and also the enhanced audio improve quality options okay so these are the basic three steps that you use to fix sound and audio issues in case if this, this didn't help then we have to go to the next step which is to update the drivers okay uh, there is automatic way to update the driver go to your search and type device manager and open this device manager application once you have opened it you can find the speaker adapter here so here it is audio inputs and outputs okay under this let's assume I have a problem with my uh, laptop speaker so what you got to do is select the speaker right click and select update driver there will be two options one is search automatically for drivers and browse my computer for drivers let me go with the first option click search automatically for drivers for this you should have an active internet connection so what this application basically does is it connects with the internet and checks whether a update is required or the latest driver is already installed okay in my mission the best driver is already installed in case if you are facing a speaker issue because of these drivers this application will automatically connect to the internet and download the best drivers so this is our fourth step and now let's assume the fourth step also didn't work the fifth step would be come to the same option right click instead of updating driver just click uninstall the driver and uninstall it okay once uninstalled go to your windows option and restart your mission 
once okay so what happens here is once you restart the machine this is a default driver that comes with your uh, laptop whether it is Dell or Lenovo or HP or whatever it is so after you uninstall and restart the machine the default driver will automatically get installed in your machine once you log in again okay that would probably fix the issue even if that didn't fix then our only left out option is installing the driver manually okay so I'm going to show you how to do that to do that first you have to go to search and type dxdiag okay this option is used to check your system model okay so here I can get my system model it is HP pavilion laptop 15 so what I can do is go to your browser and go to HP support okay, we would get all the drivers in HP support okay once you type HP support in your Google browser you'll be getting an option to download drivers click on the download drivers and select your device so for us it's a laptop if it is a desktop you can select the desktop number there are two options either you can enter the serial number which you have got from DXDiag option or you can let HP itself to detect your product this option will be available for both Dell Lenovo or whichever company you use let me uh, type H let HP detect my product which is a easier way to do so it this runs a basic uh, diagnosis in your mission to detect the product so it has detected my product so once the product is detected there is an option known as all drivers okay the UI will be mostly same for whatever uh, manufacturer you are using whether it is Dell or Lenovo or uh, Asus whatever it is okay here you can find something known as driver audio and uh, there will be different drivers available download the latest version okay so latest weekend you can find out uh, using the release date okay, you can just click on download and once it is downloaded you can just install it like any other software and once you install this driver you got to restart your mission once so this is this would be a final step in fixing sound or audio problems in your laptop okay in case even after installing the latest driver if your sound is not working then there are possible issues that it would be a hardware problem the hardware problem might be with your laptop speaker or if speaker is working and headphone is not working the problem with might be with your laptop port where you are plugging in the headphone that that would be a five percent chance okay so mostly the problem would be only with the drivers i hope uh, this video has helped you if you haven't subscribed my channel, please do subscribe. Until next video, it is bye from TechEnets.